Can you give us just a really brief overview? When we say human in the loop, I've heard it a lot, but what do we actually mean when we use that phrasing? Well, like AI, it means different things to different people. But for me, human in the loop is thinking about, well, AI is good at some things. Humans are good at other things. Can we come up with ways of them working together to produce something that's better? Right. And in our conversations, like that's been a big part of it. It's, it's the collaboration. It's between human and machine learning. That's right. Yeah. Well, and, and part of it, if you, if you go back to like the early roboticists yeah. um, thinking about, oh, we're, we're going to solve the vision problem over the summer. The vision problem ended up taking decades. And, and that's because humans are just really good at seeing the world and understanding, and it's really hard for robots. So let's leverage the things that humans are good at and, you know, super uh, complicated, long division, lots of arithmetic. We're not so good at that. Hum computers are amazing. So let's figure out how to partition that work. And it also seems like something like that, when you're talking about vision, it's so hard to translate. Like you, it's not something you think about. And when you're building something that has to see, you need to know every step of that intimately. So it, it's interesting that it seemed like that was a problem that they thought would be solved very quickly. Yeah. Well, and, and you think about um, common sense knowledge. You know, water is wet. Water shouldn't go on electronics. Like, that's obvious to us after we ruined our first toy as a kid. Uh, but but a, a, an agent, uh, AI or physical robot, won't have that background knowledge unless it's done some very sophisticated learning or someone's put it in. So that's another example where humans just have this world knowledge that they can bring to a problem. Yeah, and a lot of experience. Exactly. Seeing things and stuff like that. Where would human in the loop be most useful when we're talking about machine learning applications? Well, so I can I think of kind of two main situations. The first one is where there's really that complementarity, that the machine is good at some things and the human's good at another. So, for instance, if you think of um, I want to play a chess game. So, like, I could have a computer think of how... To, to beat any human at, how, at playing chess, but it's actually quite difficult for a robot to go and move the pieces, especially if there's a, if the human's on the board also, you want to make sure the robot doesn't hit the human. Whereas a human, it's very easy to move those pieces around, but we're not going to be able to beat a computer at chess. So you've got that kind of different, different strengths. But the other situation I think of human in the loop as being useful is where we really need that extra level of reliability or trust yeah, because it's an important decision. So as a machine learning person, I don't want a fully robotic surgeon. No, I, was, yeah. I want a doctor that's there to supervise any AI decisions so that their background knowledge, their common knowledge, their experience can come in and make sure the AI isn't making a silly mistake. 